In this video demonstration, we're going to see how easy it is for an everyday user to schedule a meeting using EMS for Microsoft Outlook. To begin, our end user starts to schedule a meeting. They invite a couple of attendees. The purpose of this meeting is to have a daily meeting to check in on a project that they're all working on together. The user sets the start and end time for the meetings, and then sets up the recurrence to meet every day for the next week and a half. From here, the end user then clicks on the EMS for Microsoft Outlook icon to find a space to work. The user is now presented with a number of different options to book a space. First, you'll notice that it's defaulted to the New York office because that's where all of these people are based. From here, they're presented with available rooms that they would like to meet in. Our users would really like to meet in conference room number two, but there's a conflict. EMS for Outlook will enable the end user to be able to see if they can resolve that conflict and find an alternative meeting space. In this case, they're able to find conference room number four, which is nearby. Now that the room is booked, the end user can then send the invitation to all the attendees. And as you can see here, we're sending out one meeting invitation, but as we hover our mouse over the actual days, you'll see that the room changes, but it's all still one meeting invite. As you saw in this video demonstration, EMS from Microsoft Outlook helps everyday users schedule and manage the recurring meetings, even when there's a conflict with the room that they want to meet in.